They are making a difference on 938 Live. He's a budding Singaporean filmmaker making waves and a name for himself. He's directed several short films and even a music video for a local band. And his latest film, Nobody's Home, was screened at the 7th Singapore Shortcuts, 6th Singapore Short Film Festival, and the 14th Thai Short Film and Video Festival. With film titles ranging from A Fistful of Yusuf Ishaks to Ginseng Boy, he continues to offer a distinctive Singaporean blend. His latest film is called Sia in Electric Dreams. And we find out how efforts such as his and others are making a difference for filmmakers in Singapore. Hi everybody, I'm Daniel Martin. I've always been interested in films since I was a kid. So part of the reason I, I got into film is because I have stories to tell and I I guess filmmaking is a is the only way for me to express myself because I'm not a very verbal person. My friends are quite supportive of whatever I'm doing, so I guess for me that has always been a benefit. What are you trying to portray through your films? I'm basically trying to offer an alternative to whatever you have in the cinema because for me I'm just starting out so a lot of stuff I do is I try to be different from what, what you get in um, in cinemas. And a lot of it is a mixed blend of things, right? Mixed genres definitely. Correct, correct. For every film I try to tackle different genres because I, I think there are too many comedies and horror films out there so I, I try to offer an alternative to those. Do you see your style as being a very Singaporean style? I don't, I don't really have a distinctive Singaporean style but I guess sort of I, I mean I, I grew up here so I'm very affected by by my surroundings and society so in a way yeah I guess I can be considered a Singaporean filmmaker You've been very fortunate in the sense that you've had the opportunity to screen your films on the international circuit for example what are some of the challenges that you face when you try to showcase your works on these bigger platforms? It's not difficult you just need to make the right connections and know the right people and find the right people who are interested in whatever you're doing. So I guess one of the things you need to have in your films is that you need to have that international message that everyone will get. So what's your international message with your latest film, for example, Sia in Electric Dreams? It's, it's a very human story about laws and memories and dreams. So I, I guess it's something that everyone will understand and, and will, will fall in love with. What would you like to see other young filmmakers in Singapore do in terms of making it a bit more dynamic. Like you say, you don't want to see the same old thing that you're seeing in cinema. So would you like to see other filmmakers in Singapore also do the same thing? Yeah, definitely. I'd like to see more genres, film coming out from um, local filmmakers. It's a very small, tight-knit community, I understand. And, and a lot of y'all know each other as well. So I, I'm sure there's a lot of cross-pollination going on, maybe. Coming up very soon, you're actually going to be uh, attending the 8th World Islamic Economic Forum that's going to be in Iskandar, Malaysia. Specifically, you're going to be at the 5th Marketplace of Creative Arts. That is an art festival recognizing creative and cultural sectors. What are you going to be doing whilst you're there? What do you hope to do when you're part of this? For me, it's a, it's a good platform for artists to meet up and share ideas and collaborate on projects. So for me, it will be to do that. I mean, to, to know more people and, and hopefully collaborate on something that is completely different to what I usually do because I mean, we will be meeting artists from all over the world. So that, that's the interesting aspect for me for the, for the marketplace and the, and the economic forum. All right. Well, you must let, tell me, what would you like to see audience members do as well? Because I think you need support from a critical mass in order to be a young filmmaker. How would you like to see audiences support and make a difference for local films? I guess, uh, I mean, it would be great if the audience are more supportive and basically appreciate what all of us are doing. Because we are trying to make a difference even to, I mean, we are starting out very small, but we are, I mean, we are trying to make something out of something, you know. I was speaking with budding filmmaker Nelson Yeo, whose latest film, Sia in Electric Dreams, continues to make a mark and make a difference to the young filmmaking scene here in Singapore. I'm Daniel Martin from 938 Live.